Hey guys, my name is Ian, and I am the lead Zen Foro theme developer over at themehouse.com. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about a new feature that we have coming out for our Nodes add-on in the next release. So I've been working on a couple projects for clients lately that have called for some individual styling between category nodes, and I found that I couldn't actually accomplish what I wanted to do with the current options available in the add-on. What I wanted to do was add kind of a branded color to each category, but not in the way of a background color. I wanted to use it in various other places, such as unread icon states, hover links, colors of titles, and so on. Well, if you're already familiar with nodes, then you know we can add background colors and change the overall text color for any given node, but there is not currently a way to use those colors in any other fashion. So I spoke with my buddy John at ThemeHouse, and we came up with a new solution for handling these situations. Now, before we get into the solution, I want to mention that this is a bit of an advanced feature that doesn't work out of the box. It requires you to write custom CSS and have a simple understanding of how CSS variables work, because that is what we're going to use. Okay, so I've gone, uh, taken the liberty to go ahead and get a theme uh, kind of set up for us and ready to go. So. Um, the first thing you'll notice uh, is that I've got colored category strips. Um, I've got a green icon here for the unread state, and that's pretty much it. Everything looks the same. Uh, and so what I want to do, I believe, is I want to change the background color of the category strips, maybe change these unread uh, icons, uh, and maybe the titles of uh, each node title. But I want to change it uh, per each category. Uh, so you can enable the new feature by going to Setup, options, and looking for TH nodes. Uh, and at the very top here, you'll see number of custom colors. Uh, you can use as many colors as you want. This is going to give you how many options uh, you can uh, have uh, for your CSS variables. Uh, for this one, we just need one. Uh, next, once you've got that set, go to node layout and styling to actually get started. Uh, don't forget, of course, to enable the style, uh, the styling for whichever theme you are using. In this case, it's going to be nodes test for me. Now, I've already gone, uh, gone ahead and taken the liberty to add the colors in for these as well. <clears throat> so you see, uh, down here, uh, we've got our custom color one. Uh, you set these for each category or each node you want to use. And the way it works is that it's going to set a CSS variable in the code uh, with that color. And we're not going to talk about CSS variables today in this video. We might do a separate video on it. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, it's fairly easy to use, it's fairly powerful, and I'd suggest uh, looking it up. Uh, so you'll see down here in my, um, in my browser uh, that I've got this bit of code here, the node custom color one. That's the CSS variable we're going to have. Uh, and the way it works is that you can access this variable uh, in, in this element or any ch children element of, of this node. So we're going to go over to extra.less and let's start coding. I'm uh, going to use a bit of less syntax here. If you're not familiar with that, that's okay. Works uh, much the same as CSS. Um, but since you're all using Zen4, I'm sure you've got at least a basic understanding of how this works. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add a background uh, color uh, using this new variable, node custom color one. And notice that we don't have to do this for every single node. Every one of these has the same variable set. So we can set it once and it works for everybody. So let's go ahead and see just what this does. So when I refresh the page, I'd expect to see my node uh, categories to all get their own color uh, with just the one line of code. So let's go ahead and do a bit more here. I've gone ahead and written out some of the code already, so I'm just going to start copying and pasting some stuff in. Uh, so this uh, I'd expect to add the same color, but this time as a color, not a background color, to my node titles. And sure enough, here they are. Uh, we can use this in any particular fashion we'd like. Uh, so here's another line that I've got. It's going to change our node unread icon state. And uh, finally, let's go ahead and change the uh, hover color of all of our links as well. So that way each of these gets its own really branded feel. So now does how uh, now all of my links here also have that color. You can use this color however you'd like, as text colors, background colors, or any other creative way you can think of. I'm really excited about this new feature because it really opens a lot of doors as to how we can very easily customize the look and feel of our forum list with minimal effort. Now, this feature is not available in the current version of Nodes, which is 1.0.4, but it will be available in the 1.0.5 update, which we expect to be releasing sometime in the very near future. If you guys found this video helpful, then check back at themehouse.com for more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your ThemeHouse products.